I really don't know the best way to start this video off that's not awkward. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel several years later. This is my first video in such a long time. It's been years since I've posted anything. So if you're tuning in and you followed me since the beginning, thank you guys for watching and continuing to follow me. And if you're just watching for the first time, then hello. I wasn't sure how I wanted to relaunch my channel, but I thought the best way would be to just do a basic get to know me video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I know it's super annoying, but I'm gonna be using my phone just uh, so I can refer to the questions. Okay, some very, very basic things about me. My name is Julia. I am 28 years old, and I am originally from Baltimore, Maryland, and currently I live in Los Angeles. So I was born and raised in Baltimore, and then when I was 22, I moved to New York, and I lived in Brooklyn for four years, and then last April, I moved to Los Angeles. I currently live in LA on the east side with my boyfriend and our two cats. And if you follow me in the past, then you already probably know my cats. I rescued both of them from different shelters in Baltimore City. What got you interested in YouTube? Well, I started my channel in 2009, so about seven and a half years ago. And I was primarily doing tutorials on reconstructing t-shirts, like cutting up t-shirts and like shredding them and making them look kind of vintage. I would make these tutorials on my MacBook like super late at night, 3, 4 a.m. when I couldn't sleep. I've always been kind of a night owl. So when all my friends were sleeping, I was filming these really low quality tutorials on my computer and then I would upload them in the morning and somehow I gained a sustainable following from those videos. What do you do for a living? I currently bartend in West Hollywood. I've pretty much been working in nightlife and hospitality since before college, so about the last 10 years I would say. And I've been bartending six of those years in high volume venues and restaurants. What is something about you that is surprising to other people? I'm 5'11", and I never lie about my height or anything, but for some reason when people meet me, it's one of the first things that they point out to me. Even when I met my boyfriend, uh, we met in like a weird way. We actually had talked extensively before meeting in person, and I'm sure we had like talked about height or whatever at some point, because we talked for like a couple of months. But when I met him, he told me that I was way taller than he expected me to be. What are some things that you like to do? Um, I would say anything creative that involves making something or learning a new skill. I love making handmade gifts for my friends, my family. I love learning how to make new things like doing crafts at home. I know that sounds childish, but I literally have a craft drawer in one of my closets where if I feel like I'm in a creative mood, I can just open the drawer and kind of decide what I want to make. I love learning about plants and flowers. I really like learning about the medicinal uses of plants and different herbs. Something else that I really like to do is cook and I love cooking for other people. I really like the idea of inviting people over and not making them do anything. Like, I don't want them to bring anything. I don't want them to have to work, I just want them to relax and I like to serve them. Last year for my boyfriend's birthday, which is December 16th, I had a kind of surprise dinner for him where I invited like 15 of his friends and our friend who lives close by has a really big dining room so we did it there and I made like a four course meal and I also woke up super early in the morning so I could go to the flower market and do all the floral arrangements for the table. So I did like four centerpieces and I also cooked for everyone. And I don't know, it just felt really fulfilling and satisfying to be like, I did all of this myself. Nobody really helped me and I could pull it off. 
If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? I feel like I would pretty much go anywhere if I had the opportunity. Paris is definitely at the top of my list and I'm going in December, so I'm so excited. What is something that annoys you? No matter what I do, our apartment is always covered in cat hair. I feel like I constantly have to carry a lint roller around. What are five things that make you happy right now? The first thing is definitely gonna be the weather in LA today. It is overcast, rainy, cold, kind of wintry, and I think a lot of people here probably hate that, but I'm so into it. Uh, some other things that make me happy are a clean house. Coming home to a clean house is the best feeling for me, waking up to a clean house. Uh, having fresh flowers in my apartment. We also hung Christmas lights up on Thanksgiving prematurely because we love Christmas so much. I guess the last thing would be the tea that I'm drinking. I made rose tea with raw honey right before this video. What is your idea of perfect happiness? I would say being in a constant state of feeling healthy accomplished and fulfilled, knowing how to cope with my own personal struggles and just accepting that things will not always be perfect. How many serious boyfriends or girlfriends have you had and are you on good terms with them? I've had, I think, just two serious boyfriends, which would be my current boyfriend, Nick, and my ex-boyfriend August, who is actually in a couple of my older YouTube videos on my channel. Uh, we dated for, I think, about two and a half years, and my current boyfriend and I have been together for a little over two and a half years. I also had one serious girlfriend right before Nick, and we also dated for two years. I am on good terms with pretty much everyone I've ever dated or gone on a date with. What are a few of your pet peeves? Going to bed without cleaning the kitchen drives me crazy when people don't use their turn signal and sitting in LA traffic in general. Having dry skin drives me crazy. I've actually been taking Accutane for the last five months, well like four and a half months. I'm on my fifth month. The dryness is so real, you guys. I've actually had a really amazing experience on Accutane and it's been pretty positive, but the one downside is like crazy dry skin. What is one embarrassing thing that most people don't know about you? I still sleep with my baby blankets every night, which I feel like is pretty embarrassing. What do you think people most misunderstand about you? I would say that people misunderstand my demeanor or how I come across when they first meet me. A lot of people think that I'm kind of standoffish or maybe unfriendly, which is not the case at all. So when people say like, oh, that girl has a resting bitch face, I have one of those faces apparently. I'm also such a homebody, so I think people have the misconception that I'm like antisocial, which I guess is kind of true but not intentionally, and I just really like being at home. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Definitely, if I could have one superpower, it would be to feel comfortably warm at all times because I feel like I am always cold and complaining about being cold. What is your favorite smell? <sighs> Winter smells are really exciting to me. Like pine needles and pine trees and Christmas trees. I really like the smell of campfires. I like how air smells in the mountains. It just smells like cleaner and more crisp. What are some of your bad habits? I think that a bad habit of mine, which is more like a bad good habit, is trying to reuse like everything I have so many jars and so many mason jars. Like if I have a jar of honey and I use it all up, I'm not gonna recycle that jar. I'm going to recycle the label and reuse a jar for something else. 
So I'm forever doing that, but at the same time, it's like I'm hoarding containers, so it's kind of annoying. I also try to like reuse aluminum foil and plastic wrap sometimes because, well, I try not to use either one of them if I can avoid it, but if I have to, then I'll use it and then I'll like save it in this kitchen drawer if it's not like gross or whatever, and then I'll try to reuse it later. But I feel like on principle, that's kind of gross. But what is something you don't like about yourself? Something I don't like is that I feel like I waste a lot of time on social media when I could be doing more productive things like reading or learning or educating myself. I'm trying to get in a better habit of not carrying my phone around at all times because it's so easy to just flip on your phone now and scroll through like Instagram or Snapchat or whatever and just totally monopolize your day on social media. So that is something that I would like to change. What is something that you like most about yourself? I don't really feel very attached to material things. When I was younger, I definitely felt more connected to material things like buying clothes and shoes and purses and bags and all that stuff. And it's still nice to have nice things that you appreciate, but the value of things has totally shifted for me. I don't feel like I need to accumulate things. In fact, I feel the opposite. Like I want to simplify my life and only keep the things that are meaningful to me. This is the thing that sucks about living in LA. When I started filming this video, it was pouring rain and overcast and like super dark. And now the sun is out and it stopped raining and it's like any other LA day. It drives me crazy that we can't have like one shitty day in LA. I've pretty much said all that I need to say. If you guys have any additional questions for me, feel free to ask them, feel free to leave them in the comments below or shoot me a message or send me an Instagram message or whatever. I'm so looking forward to relaunching my channel and making videos for you guys all the time. So this is just the start of things to come, but hopefully this video gives you an idea of kind of who I am. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. This is my first video in several years and maybe it would be better if I filmed it like this but then you guys would see my weird socks.